And it says the Hangout is on air, is live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Brickhead family. And as you can see, I am solo here tonight, but I do have a very good friend in the chat. Uh, what do we call it? The panel? The chat? What do we call this? Uh, yeah, expert panel. I like that. Expert panel. Our <laughs> expert like a, a panelist tonight is Kevin A. Hinkle. And uh, if you want to know more about Kevin Hinkle, go to Bricksmith. Uh, YouTube channel and they have a series going on and it is called Forever Sorting, which is what we all do as Lego fans. Yep, yep. And uh, that's what we'll be doing tonight. We'll be doing some sorting here tonight because I have a mess that we pulled out of the kids' room and uh, I have some bins to go through and some old booster bricks boxes to break down and we're just here to chat. So uh, let me pull up the chat here. That would be a good, right? <laughs> yeah. So you're you are the only person in your home right now. I am the only one besides the dog and the ghost. No, perfect. Okay. <laughs> so if you see anybody like like over here and uh, yeah, this side right here, Say this something. is like this is like our our laundry room area. Yeah. And if you go behind this wall, that's my bedroom. So if anything like pokes its head out, just let me know. <laughs> uh, yeah, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> you'll be the first. Hey, right, let me bring up the chat. I wish I there was a way that you could just bring the chat right up from the right. screen instead of having to go on all the way to YouTube. Uh, as a as a streaming noob, I would think that would be a thing. I would think that would yeah. be an option. But well, I heard rumors that at one point they were going to redo this whole streaming thing anyway. I'm sure they're always. That's probably always on the board all the time. Right. Like update number whatever and mm. offer this and offer that. And all kinds of crazy stuff. All right, there. The chat is up. Uh, we got. Chaser plays. Uh, Durison Butt Chop is there. Butt Chop. Uh, oh, the butt. oh, oh! I didn't know Hoosier was having a stream. Um, I apologize. Uh oh, we got uh, Battle of the Streams. A oh, Battle of the Streams. Yeah. Awkward. Awkward. Yeah. Right. <laughs> did this, did who, who, I, I've been away from the stream life for a little while. Has Hoosier done Saturday nights? I don't know. I don't know who does anything. Really, the only thing I know for certain is that every Friday night is Reeds. That's all I know for certain. Um, yeah, I, I I was gonna hop in Reeds last night, but uh, it seemed to run short last night for for it, a Reed yeah, stream. Yeah, it was. It was yeah for for a Reed stream. It was pretty <laughs> short because he normally goes like four or five hours or something crazy. No. Um, but we, I was on for an hour and fifteen minutes. But yeah, I think the the overall stream was only like two hours. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> Because I, I hopped on, I think it was like 10.30 or something like that. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's Friday night. Reed's probably still on. So I hopped on, and I'm like, no, it's, it's and there done. And no one there. You were by your lonesome, huh? <laughs> right. All right. So, yeah, I apologize. If, if, if I'm overlapping with Hoosier. I had no idea. It's all right. I think there's enough. Uh, what was my – I said a really beautiful thing once upon a time, and I need to remember what it was. It was like there's enough, there's enough – uh, Internet for everyone in the community. So I said something. It was really good, and I forgot what it was already. Yeah. There's enough. There's enough fans for the. There's enough internet for to go around. So I don't know. Yeah. Well, butt chop in the chat. He says that's okay. I'm boycotting Hoosier and the Brickhead family. Well then, all right. Right, man. That butt chop. Need this, that means that the we need the chop stream to start. <laughs> well, it's funny because uh, I guess this morning. Uh, but Chap was on uh, Brick Pasta stream, and my son comes in after the stream and he goes, "Oh my God, we we got to do a, a funny video about Butt Chap." I'm like, "What are you talking about?" He goes, "Yeah, Butt Chap. It took him like 30 minutes to open up a shampoo bottle for his wife." Nice. <laughs> he goes, "He goes, we have to do a how-to video for for Butt Chap on how to open up a shampoo bottle." I think you should, because then I wouldn't also be like alone in videos about things <laughs> that people say or do. Right, uh, exactly. Uh, what are you trying to say? Nothing, nothing at all. Oh, I think it sounds like quality content. I, I actually stirred some, some bees nest with that, and people got upset with me. <laughs> I, I know. I thought it was ridiculous. Uh, oh, pro oh, probably man. not as upset as they were when I started this 31 days. I had such a decline in subs. <laughs> oh, really? Because yeah, yeah. All right. Well. I, I think a, a lot of like littler kids maybe were subbed to our channel. Yeah. And maybe their parents saw and was like, oh, yeah, we can't be doing this devil stuff. So does that is that number built right there? Is that current? Yeah, this is current. Okay. 
but you yeah. had to like take apart and rebuild lower numbers. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of sad. Yeah, we were. I think when we started the Thirty One Nights, uh, we were at. 1378 and then we hit our lowest point down to 1357 and then we kind of gained a couple and now yep so i don't know if it's more of youtube has been going through and kind of nixing old accounts or something oh maybe yeah all right so in the chat here it says uh, uh they're they're inner talking Oh, inner, uh, inner chat talking. Inner chat talking. We got Gallagade is in the chat. You got Doc Sampson is in the set in the chat. Uh, I introduced my kids to Doc Sampson's videos the other night, and they they thought it was funny. I laugh every time I hear that because um, when I was in college, one of my friends one year for Halloween he dressed up as Doc Sampson. Oh, <laughs> and, and I was like, I I mean, I saw him and I said, dude, I have no clue who you're supposed to be. Uh, he's like, funny. don't worry, I brought a photo. And he <laughs> brought a photo of like the actual Doc Samson from, from the comic series. from From Venture Brothers? No, it's even before. Like, there's a, there's oh, a Doc is there a different from, Doc like, Samson? There is like an original Doc Samson uh, from like, I think like the Hulk comics. Really? Um, he's like all muscular and uh, he's got flowing blonde hair. And he's just as, I think it's Hulk. And he's just as strong as the Hulk. Um <laughs> And I'm like, who is it? He said he purposely picked the most obscure comic character he could find. Ah. Um, but uh, so now I think of my friend dressed up as this ridiculous person that no one's ever heard of. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm like, Doc Samson. The only Doc Samson I know is the from Venture Brothers, which if you haven't watched it, is a really good cartoon series. It's been a long time since I've seen venture brother i remember it was on adult swim right like when it yeah. came out mm -hmm. and i probably saw a few episodes and then i fell off <laughs> but uh, it was it was trying to poke fun at what johnny quest right like that was the whole thing maybe? yeah or yeah no? it, it was kind of kind of a rip off of those old kind of cartoonish era you know and the whole uh where are they uh the super sleuth brothers um you know it was a book series what were they uh, I don't know. Mm. It was, but it was kind of a playoff of all that kind of older stuff, which is a really fun TV show. But they kind of killed it for me because they would have one season, and then it'd be like two and a half years before the next season comes out. That's that. I feel like that's what all good shows. All right. <laughs> it's like, all right. It's good now. The next season will start in three years. <laughs> right. All right. Hey, right, uh, da, da, da. I hope you get more subs after Halloween. Well, I'm kind of hoping that we kind of bounce back here. Um, Bring some lighthearted content. Yeah. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Yeah, because oh, we got you know some big news coming up here. We uh, we do some work with with Booster Bricks, and they're starting up a new subscription service for minifigures, minifigures alone. So we'll have we'll have that coming out the pike, and then. Uh, we have been invited to do a comic con uh not not the big comic con it's kind of wow. like a a midwest type comic con and they're going to be here in rockford and uh they've asked us to host a table and for me to be a special guest um nice. what do you want to call it judge for for cosplaying that's awesome <laughs> Does that mean you have to pay, or is it free? No, it's free. Well, okay, that's to definitely... even to even get into this place is free. It's a free oh, event. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good. So that's so cool, though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, but th th like I said, it's pretty you know Midwest stuff. I think they're doing like an Iowa circuit right now, leading up until February when they start hitting more Illinois stuff. Yep. Yep. All right. What is? Uh, yeah, but Chup, I've caught up on stream now. I was going to tell you to twist the pump counterclockwise and give it a gentle touch. See, he's still giving, you know, <laughs> he's getting uh tips on how to open up that bottle. Opening. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> but Chup goes, Oh, it's a gentle tug. You know, this is a family show, right? <laughs> it's uh, the sub drop. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe he said tug it. <laughs> That's where you need a, a, a blaze moment where he does the butthead impersonation and says you said tug. 
Uh, let's see what other goes. Oh. There, inner, more inner talking. But yeah, um, I will probably be talking to you here in the future here about a possible rebranding for us. Oh, nice. All right. Well, it's not a well, rebranding. You know, we're, we're still going to be named the Brickhead family, but I just want to kind of. I, I will say. Class it up uh, a little bit. Ever since Chicago. In the in the back of my brain, I've been just brainstorming on my own. Nice. Uh, nothing nothing aggressive. Just like oh, that that might be an idea. Uh, um, that's cool. On, on the hopes that maybe one day. Oh yeah. I'd get that email. Oh yeah, I, I was actually going to write you an email today, so it was kind of nice that you uh you you popped on here. Well, my ears were burning, I guess. Uh, yep. There you go. It's that's fate. What it was. That's <laughs> what it was. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. It's actually it works out at a pretty good pace because I feel like every time I finish a logo, mm-hmm. I get one to two more jobs that fill its place immediately. Because <laughs> I finished I finished one two days ago for a Bricklink store, and then I got yesterday uh, confirmation to start two. So I'm like, well, all right. Oh, every cool. Time I stop one, I start another one. Hey, yeah, you know, business is good, right? Everyone needs a logo. That's what <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, we just want to kind of brand ourselves a little bit better, you know, legally, I guess. Well, <laughs> hey, if nothing else, at least it, it gives you that peace of mind going, you can't do nothing. Yeah, You're exactly. Fine. Right. Yeah, because uh, I don't know if somebody brought it up to me and they're like, how do you get away with using, you know, that as your logo? Uh, it start, the conversations have started, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it wasn't. It was just yeah. somebody that I was just talking to, and they're yeah, like, "Yeah, just wow, conversation." Yeah, because uh, we did a, or I guess, I'm kind of like a partner-ish, kind of in a uh, a local app here in town. Okay. Um, they did an interview of me and our channel and stuff like that, and I can go on to their app and you know promote our channel and stuff like that for local happenings, and uh, and. Uh, Somebody brought up the fact, and I'm like, wow, you know, does Lego let you use their stuff like that? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, usually when it will see, here's the good part of that is when those conversations finally start, that means you're starting to make it, you're starting to get on the radar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right? Like, yeah. People start to notice and they yeah, start exactly. to chit chat. Exactly. Just like I told you, remember, I said, hey, you could you could go on for twenty years and no one cares. Exactly, but right? You get bigger and more popular and more successful, and you have more exposure and you have a wider audience. Then people will start to notice. And start <laughs> yeah. To say yeah, yeah. And the last last person I need to notice is actual Lego, maybe. Well, that's probably <laughs> wise. Um, yeah. But then, yeah, it's just you know I have found, and and I'm sure lots of people could agree with me that it's a lot easier to kind of have a nice good approach earlier on rather than oh we're like super successful and everyone knows who we are and now we have to change um which has happened that's happened a couple of times i remember when the brick fan uh i mean everyone knows the brick fan mm-hmm. um when he had to change because he had a minifigure face and his logo uh-huh. uh, and he got like pretty well known and then it was like hey uh you can help but notice that your website has a minifigure head in your logo. Oh no! And so, luckily, he you know he has bounced since then. But mm-hmm. it it sucks when you're super established and people know you for a look or a brand, and then you got to switch it. And it's it's hardly I ever find a brick that's actually broke. Yeah. Uh, you find boom. a broken brick? Yeah, right there. Uh, what color is it? it? Is brown. brown yeah no it's brown brown yeah that's that's good stuff right there yeah it's kind of weird how it chipped off that way that is uh yeah. that's a that's not a keeper <laughs> no definitely not i don't no. think it'll latch to anything else um i was watching uh brick and nick on twitch the other night oh yeah and he does them it, it cracks me up every time and i forget about it but anytime he's building on his stream and he breaks a piece mm-hmm the the camera switches to black and white and it goes slow motion <gasps> and it has like this kind of sad piano music and it show like it's still like recording so he's like, uh, doing stuff but mm-hmm. it's slower like frame rate and he shows off the pieces and it has like immemorial 
Um, <laughs> and he actually has a counter on his channel. And he goes, everybody that was element or brick number 49 of this year that we have <laughs> broken. Uh, and I was like, man, it cracks me up every time he does it. Nice. Yeah, I, I've, I, I haven't caught it his last few, few streams. Um, usually I'll see him, you know, pop up like during the day and like, man, I'm at work. Yeah. And, yeah. and my, and my, for some reason, my work will, cause I, I run off their, their Wi-Fi at work and they will allow YouTube, but you can't go on a Twitch or, or anything like, you know, game related. Yeah. Cause you're just going to watch games all day. Man. Exactly. Let alone videos all day. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's identical to YouTube, but whatever. <laughs> right. Whatever. I can definitely tell the kids have been messing. Look at uh, Fred here has has grown a beard for for November. Nice. That's uh, <laughs> yeah, that's Fred's uncle. <laughs> uh, the creepy uncle. That's the, that's uh, uncle uncle something else. It's not quite Fred, but. <laughs> Uh, Gallagade says, what are you sorting, Daddy Brickhead? I'm sorting. Um, we went through to the boys' room and cleaned up their, their floor of Lego. And, of course, it's never the big pieces of Lego. It's always these, like, yeah. little pieces, like the the hairbrushes and knives and yeah. everything rolling. Ro yeah. Anything that can roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh yeah, do I have a dead Lego bin? Uh the trash can. <laughs> yeah, dead. yeah, that's kinda yep. I just throw the stuff away. Yeah. If I come across stuff that's discolored too, I'll just throw it away. Mm. It's just to me it's too much trouble to go grab OxyClean and clean it and scrub it and put it out of the I'm like, no, nah, I'm done. It's it's done. It's over. Yeah, it yeah away. I, I did that when uh because uh, we were doing a lot of like uh finds at like the goodwill and stuff like that but i think my yeah. goodwill is like kind of axed out lego because yeah. i can't find it there anymore um because is it, is I, it worth it though like is it worth the time to sit there and clean all the elements and scrub them and get their colors to be bright again and... uh, it gives the kids something to do i guess well <laughs> that's fair enough <laughs> well they, they always think it's cool it's like treasure hunting for them um, because they'll, they'll get into it and they'll try to figure out what set was in this and, you know, try to piece together whatever set that was, they yeah, thought no, it that's was. Cool. I think that there's, that's definitely cool. I'm just talking about like specifically when you get those, like if you do buy an older, like a U set, mm -hmm. and then maybe they had it in the window and like one side of it, all the white bricks are yellow. Oh. Like the See, actual process of cleaning and recoloring or rebrightening, mm -hmm. uh, elements. See what I use with those. Uh, I'll put those in like a separate bin themselves. And then if I'm building something and I got to use bricks to kind of build something around it, I'll yeah. put those like, like the inner makings of like a brick head or something, uh, you know? Yeah. Fillers. Yeah. That's what I'll, I'll throw them in and use it that way. That's, that's pretty smart. I don't do that. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. Like if I come across them and I'm like, Oh, I'll just throw it away. Like that's, that's done. But, uh, that is smart to use it as filler though. All right, chat, chat, chat. It's called the trash can. Yep. Uh, Brick Somniac is here. He's he's stalking us. Good. Uh, Brick Bender Underworld says, "What's up, Brick Somniac?" Uh, and he says he is slowly. Uh, Brick Somniac says he's slowly lowering my watch later videos. It went from 150 to about 30 ish. Very, very good. All right. <laughs> Uh, Galgate says I bought black pieces, one kilo of used bricks. It was really bad, scratches all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah kind of. Yeah, yeah. But we've found some like hundred dollar sets for like five bucks and stuff like that. So, you know, I'll take a couple little scratches over, you know, saving ninety five dollars on a set. <laughs> I bought two two sets at uh, went grocery shopping today, and my local grocery chain which has you know a really super super small toy section um had some lego sets on 50 percent off that i purchased nice um, they weren't exactly very exciting they were both city sets but i was like ah, oh, 50 percent off and i mean i i go grocery shopping every single saturday <laughs> and i walk down that aisle and i go yeah there they are and the selection never changes <laughs> and uh so i've been looking at them for a year 
Mm-hmm. Oh, well, all right. 50% off? Fine. There you go. You can Fine. never go long, wrong with a cheap Lego, right? Yeah, you, gotta, you just got to do it. You yeah. just got to do it. Man, some of these pieces are just trash. Now, this is that, that and that's that's the service, right? Those are the, the bricks from the service. Oh no, th- this is I haven't even gotten to the booster brick stuff. Oh yet. okay, all right. I, I just had the booster bricks box, an empty one in their room. It for was when a, we were, it was a fake out. <laughs> yeah, when we were, when we were cleaning out their uh, cleaning out their bedroom, all this stuff was like piled underneath other stuff that was in there, and so more than likely they've been walking on it. And throwing other stuff on it, wrestling on it. Yeah. Stuff that, yeah. All that stuff. Yep. You know how boys are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Jamie Bricks is in the chat. What's going on, Jamie Bricks? She actually bought a t shirt of ours and for her daughter, which she loves. Nice. Awesome. Yep. It was our, uh, our shark shirt that we did for. Left for, shark? Yep, a left shark shirt. And it's kind of like a, a paint splatter. It's got like, uh, I don't know. Uh, who's the artist that does like the multicolored, you know, it's got one image and it does multi uh, different colors of that same image? Oh. Like, like the same, like different views, like mm-hmm. different angles, but it's the no, same. No, it's, it's the same picture. Yeah. But it's different colored. But it's oh, like, like Andy Andy Warhol. Yeah, Andy Warhol stuff. Okay. It's All it's right. kind of like it's kind of like that vibe to it that I did with it. Gotcha. gotcha. So I was thinking like for... the what is it Picasso like the the different angles but the same. Image. Oh no. I, yeah, that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> no, I, I was asking the art art guy here, so <laughs> I, I I had I better put up or or shut up. Right. Uh, exactly. I gotta know. Right. I gotta know. Yeah, but uh, I finally caught up with the the your guys' series, and man, I tell you what, Kevin, I would have <laughs> gave up a long time ago after as much stuff as you went through, man. It's interesting, isn't it? Because I'm sitting at work listening to it. I'm like, and I'm getting frustrated at work. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I know it kind of works out for them, but <laughs> these stories suck right now. <laughs> yeah, it it is. It's super weird to like. Like I was, I was telling, I was telling him, and I've probably said it aloud on other streams, but it's just really weird, like going back and recounting this from day one, mm-hmm. because this was just my life. You know, <laughs> I, I mean, I just lived it for All twelve right. years, and I didn't really think anything super, super special about it. But yeah, when you put it all in, like it's a, it's an interesting tale of uh you know underdog story of oh definitely it's, it's uh, a hollywood story that's for sure it's uh, yeah, i need to sell my rights for a lifetime <laughs> original movie um but it's uh it's kind of crazy and and now what's even weirder is when people listen and watch it and then they know things that i don't remember that i said oh <laughs> and, and i mean they're they're all real things like it's truthful stories but i'm like wait how do you know that so has anyone uh that w- have b- popped up in your stories come across these videos and was no. like hey kevin why are you why are you spreading this stuff whoa why are you why are you ta- why are you sharing all the, all all right. the skeletons man why are you saying i'm a bad manager <laughs> yeah i know um <laughs> no well because most of those people you know or at least the bad folks were never really lego fans mm. And you know, if you're not in the community, you're not in the community. Yeah, so exactly. Don't even register for you. Um, and the only person in the story that um, was in it so far that is still in it today is Reed. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, well, nice. There you go. Yeah, because it cracks me up because uh, Julian will sit back and be like, yeah, I, I don't like this person right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm not a, yeah. I'm not a fan. Yeah, and he he's like, I am not a fan of this person, and we shouldn't talk about this person anymore. <laughs> this person is this person is dead. Uh, yeah, there was some crazy stuff. I mean, and and the other thing that I also, uh, I I don't think we've aired it. We haven't aired the flashback episode yet. Uh oh, flashback episode. Okay, no, that's gonna be a no. <laughs> um, so there, the thing is, is that I constantly am afraid that I'm forgetting stuff as I'm talking mm. about it. 
and that has happened. And so I, I was like, hey, can we go back? Because there's some stuff I forgot. <laughs> um, and and even now, like today, I was thinking that I completely forgot about uh, the other guy that was a supervisor at Colorado uh, that uh, got it before my buddy did. And that was a whole thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I was like, oh, I forgot that whole chapter. <laughs> Like there's these these little these little intricacies that I just forget about. I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah, I, I will say though, it has been very entertaining. Good. That's and the whole. I, I I appreciate you guys getting it out there like that, and uh, it makes my Monday mornings. You know, well, besides you depressing the hell out of me a couple times. I'm sorry. But... I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, it is kind of weird when when you already know the ending. Right. Uh, and so you're just like, it's like watching the Star Wars prequels. <laughs> You already know that eventually I'm going to turn into Darth Vader, but you know, exactly right. You're watching. You know, it it's even some movies. You know, you like uh, you're watching The Water Boy or something. I'm like, and you're like, yeah. oh man, I hope they end up winning this game, even though you've seen it a hundred times, knowing that he yeah. does win it. Yeah, but you Come just on, get man. wrapped up in the story that you forget how it ends up. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's 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 you know, really, it was julian's pushing because i i was talking about it in general uh and just sharing things like in random streams and he's mm-hmm. like can we have like a show where you just it's only you <laughs> I was right. Like, I can. right like your um, your ninjago scare <laughs> yeah i mean i'm just talking he's the one like we need to have a we need to have a routine show we need to have a thing um and then forever sorting i will say i'll take credit for forever sorting because that was my idea yeah um because i like a while ago, long time ago, I was kind of surprised that nobody had claimed Forever Sorting on anything. Hmm. And and Forever Sorting, I thought, was a pretty well-known kind of Lego fan joke line thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, even Lego themselves have printed it onto two movie posters in their sets, you know, Forever Sorting and Forever Sorting 2, <laughs> um, like in the PAL cinema and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Yep. And one day I was just casually searching domains because that's what you do and i was like why does nobody own forever sorting.com that's so bizarre to me and and then i went and checked social media and nobody had forever sorting on any of the social media so i i have claimed and have had ownership of forever sorting for a very long time nice um, and so when we needed a, t- a name i said well i have a thing already <laughs> there you go yeah that, so that's that all ties well together pretty well then it does. It does. Because that's right. what we're always doing. What do we got? We got Ogle Bricks is in the chat. Imperial Bricks is here. Mike B is here. Uh, Red Brick Studios. What's up, guys? Thanks for hopping in here. Uh, Doc Sampson says prequels suck because the ending is set before you even go in. <laughs> yes. Unless it's Star Trek and it's a different timeline every time. <laughs> or what is it like... Uh, the X Men movies, you know, might as well forget the like the first five of them because it doesn't uh, matter now because the whole timeline's changed since whatever the biggest that biggest headache ever. <laughs> it's like okay, so I wasted my money with these other movies. These don't even exist. <laughs> so um, I have been. Let me flip this real quick so you don't look at my face. Uh, I've been sorting all this kind of junk, like mini fake hands. And like things you stick into like uh, helmets and stuff like mm-hmm. feathers. All right, I will say, Kevin, it irritates me that you pulled the hands off. That's fine. You can be irritated. <laughs> you may be. I'll allow it. Oh. Here's the. This is the bin that's done. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of the crap that I'm into right now. You know, I have a couple big bricks here, but it's all this. Yeah, it's all that little junk that just takes forever and ever and ever. Yeah. And so a lot of this is of my own doing, actually, because I've had this big bin of minifig accessories, um, and I've been lazy for a long time. And so when I was taking sets apart, anytime I came with minifig stuff, I threw it in this bin. I said, I'll deal with that later. And so I put minifigs, assembled minifigs, minifigs taken apart, uh, minifig, just all kinds of stuff in here that really should never have gone in this bin. Mm. And so we talked about sorting minifig stuff on a short sort episode, like, I don't know, two months ago. 
<laughs> and I was like, dang it, if I open this bin and I start this, I'm going to feel compelled to sort this whole thing. Right. And, and I have been. And ever since then, I've been sorting it. Nice. It's almost done, though. I mean, this, this right here, this is all I have left is in this. Nice. But that still is like four hours worth of sorting. It, it is. It's probably more than that. <laughs> which is kind of I mean we're now at like the, the little tiny tiny little things now right and then you get these but, like uh, teeth pieces that get into the brick yeah and then you gotta try to peel these yeah. suckers out so speaking of minifig hands um if you one of the things I think is really interesting is yellow hands when you see like a gallon ziploc bag full of nothing but yellow hands <laughs> it I like it, it like the possibilities are endless i'm like man what can i do with it like i want to do like haystacks with many big hands uh, and i want to do like uh medieval house roofs with hands um <laughs> it's just weird yeah. i'm like man i could use these hands for so many things right but what could they go into though you gotta clip them to something you gotta use the hand part oh the yeah the, the little clip yeah like people, I've seen some really cool uses where people use it as like the, the little the I don't the wrist, uh the wrist is like a beak for like a bird. Oh okay. So you can like clip the hand to a bar, and then like the that'll be like the bird's neck, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like all of a sudden you start getting like little bird like I mean there's some cool things you can do with many finger hands. Yeah. Let me just tell you. Let me let me make that argument. <laughs> okay it's just it, you know because we mostly try to keep our minifigs together so i'm taking that you just deplete them all, completely. I, go, I go all the way down all the way down yeah julian julian's not a fan either <laughs> see because like what they did the fred here it irritates me because now i'm like where is fred's head right yeah uh yeah don't look at my collection of minifigures <laughs> you know because enraged when it comes to like the city figures or all that you know where they're pretty much interchangeable but when we yeah. get to like the specialty figures like we only have one set of like the the uh, what are these scooby-doo figures so you know yeah. i'm like okay i like the scooby-doo figures let's try to keep those together but now fred's fred's head's gone yep oh boy yeah he yeah there's a lot of people that are irritated with me that I don't keep like collectible minifigs built and separate. Well, uh, you you separate your collectible minifigs? Uh, I mean, hey, if it's a minifig, it's going in. Oh no, man! It's going in. Oh, it, it's going in. Did you just hear my dad brain just cringe right now? I did. You you want to know? There's even maybe I shouldn't tell you. Uh oh. <laughs> so I do have I have some that are super special to me that i have i do have built and put in a in a safe split uh safe place mm -hmm. mr gold is not mixed in with the rest um he is assembled he is in a case um but if i happen to have duplicates of something like a, a comic-con fig the duplicate will get put in mm. like it's just like boop, boop, there you go <laughs> no, there you go no. uh, shazam oh uh, no and people are like no no <laughs> All right, so I, I need to know the story behind the Mr. Gold. Did you find a Mr. Gold, or was this kind of like, yeah, I work at Lego, so I'm going to get myself a no. Mr. Gold? No, that was actually a trade with a fellow Lego fan in Toronto, Canada. Uh -huh. So I was at an event. I was at BrickFet, which is a Lego fan event in Toronto that has happened almost every year up until the last couple of years. And I was enjoying a nice, I think it was a coffee break with some fans. And somehow the conversation came up about Mr. Gold. And I said, yeah, that's actually one that I really want and I don't have. And the fan I was talking to was actually very surprised that I didn't have Mr. Gold. And he said, no, nope, no, nope, I don't have Mr. Gold. Um, and I told him, I said, I'd be willing to trade if you know anybody that has an extra one. And he goes, Kevin, I actually have three Mr. Gold. Holy smokes. And, and I was like, so you're willing to trade is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Uh, and so he was, he was, and so he gave me a pretty hefty list of figures. I had to trade him 13 figures for Mr. Gold. Oh, yeah. And, and they were, they were not regular figures. They were like, you know, uh, 
the exclusive Lex Luthor from the game release, the exclusive, mm. like, you know, all like exclusive poly bags and stuff like that, mm-hmm. uh, which I have to admit were slightly easier for me to get because of where <laughs> I was, <laughs> but it was still a lot of rounding up. Um, but so I traded him, I shipped, I shipped to him first in good faith, oh. uh, all 13 of the rare minifigs and he, upheld his end of the bargain and he shipped me Mr. Gold. Nice. Nice. Yeah, because he could have just ran off with that. Could have. <laughs> it's nice to know that there's still nice people out there. There's still nice people. Most of them are in the community. Nice. Uh, some of them aren't. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's how I got Mr. Gold and I still have him. Uh, and what's funny is I was, I was saying this to somebody else is that um, up until this year, I had him still sealed in his like protective backer, because you know, Mister Gold came in a see-through, like sealed baggie inside mm-hmm. the the pouch, mm-hmm. and I didn't open that pouch. Like I left the inside one sealed, and I could not bring myself to open it. I just couldn't. <laughs> and then you know, once uh once I was no longer an employee of the company, and I was kind of mad and all kinds of emotions. Oh no. Um, I then you're like screw me, well, Mr. Gold. I had a, I had a, I just got like a whole new um, perspective on all this, like just a whole new perspective of Lego and it being a toy and a hobby and it's plastic and you know all these kind of things. And, mm-hmm. and I said, you know what, I'm opening this stupid thing. And so I just grab it and opened it and played around with it, assembled it, and then just put it in the case. I was like, there, there it is, and. Uh, <laughs> When people come over, uh, if they want to see him and mess around with him, I go, yeah, go ahead. Take, nice. him, take a look at him. Yeah, yeah, put all your fingerprints on the shiny gold, Mr. Gold over here. That's fine. <laughs> can, I, can I lick it? Sure, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Smash yourself out. I will say, we, we, we searched and searched and searched forever for Mr. Gold and never came across it. And uh, come to find out that uh, uh, Brother from Another Brick, he ended up finding two or three at the store we were going to looking for these things. He was right there before you every time. <laughs> oh, talk about heartbreaking. I just found that out over, uh, over brick world. Like, <laughs> dude, are you serious? I thought you were going to say something super sappy. Like as it turns out, the Mr. Gold was with us all along. <laughs> he, was, he was part of the journey. No, the no, he just didn't want to come into our haunted house. Well, I think you've you've made up for it with your twenty policemen and fifteen <laughs> personal grades, right? All kinds of ridiculous. Other exactly. Things. They're they're uh, collecting dust over here. Yeah. <laughs> they'll they'll just go up in price. That's the way I keep telling myself. <laughs> just keep saying that. All right. Yeah, because uh, I was talking to a guy that owns a bricks and minifigs, and he's like, "Yeah, I'll give you ten dollars a piece for those." I was like, I don't know. If I think if I hold on to him a little bit longer, you're going to want to pay a little bit more than that. Which one is for that? Is that for the police? Yeah. Guy? Yeah, when I was at Philly, I bought my police at Philly because I did not want to do the whole, like, search and find. And so I went to one of the – well, actually, I shopped around. I went to all the vendors to see who had – and a lot of them had it. They all had it. Mm-hmm. And uh, Bricks a Lottle. Uh, they had it the cheapest, which was 17 bucks. So I bought it. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up, Imperial? I feel like I hopped in at the in the middle of the story again. No, nope, that's fine. That's <laughs> oh, fine. it's been a long time, Imperial. What's up? Yes. Uh, just school and all that. It's been taking over. Yeah, that's what it does. All right. Yeah, I can't Man. do Philly next year, so. Oh no, oh, dude! Well, I'm doing Chicago. I'm doing Chicago though. Oh, you are doing Chicago. Awesome. Yeah. School. I'll tell you this, man. School will take over like nobody's business, and then eventually one day it is gonna drop kick you like nobody's. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, wait a minute, I wasn't ready. <laughs> yeah, Philly's on the week of ACTs for me, so kind of can't do that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That What's sounds that? responsible. <laughs> I'm still on the fence if I'm doing Philly or not. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't see why, Nick. 
Well, why would you be on the fence? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> money? Is it money? Yeah, a, a little um, bit. A little, little bit of money. Yeah, I got the time. I've got like six weeks of vacation. Every okay, year, so it's not the time. It's no, not it's not the time. Cost. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'm telling mm-hmm. you, man, as, as somebody, again, not to, not to keep playing the same cards, but as someone who's been to every Lego fan event in the entire country, if you are on YouTube, you would be a fool not to go to Philly Brick. Yeah, yeah, that's what I keep hearing. That, that's what that's what the drive is. You know, me going is like, yeah. okay, this is where this is where my people are. This, that is where your people are. <laughs> that's where I feel yeah. Chicago too. There, there are my people. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, Chicago. Yeah. yeah. See, that's the thing. You know, we had fun at Chicago, but I don't feel that we fit in the Chicago. I don't know. It's it's kind of yeah, weird. You, know, you you got it right on the money. Like when you did your kind of like recap thoughts or whatever, and mm-hmm. you were talking about uh, a little bit of the clickish thing kind of going on. And yeah, it, it does seem to take a couple of years before you to like get kind of assimilated in. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I get you. I know where you're coming from. Yeah, because yeah, it seemed like we were kind of. It was like, oh my god, there's those annoying YouTubers over there. <laughs> there's those guys. There's those guys that are always yelling, loud. They keep yelling at all the people at the front. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that here. <laughs> they yeah, might do that in Philly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're talking to uh, to the coordinators and they go, who are those people that keep yelling at the uh, yelling at us? They, we, we, they don't work here. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. We, we don't own up to any of these guys. Well, that's cool, Imperial, that you'll be in Chicago, though. Yeah, this is the mod going to Chicago right now. Nice. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been working on my order. Uh, Mystery Science Theater gig. I got like multiple different scenes for them coming up for for Chicago or hopefully Philly. (laughs) See, but that's the whole thing is that you know, yeah, if I'm going to Philly, I'm going to drive to Philly. Sure. Uh, yeah. Because you know of everything, and I'm like, man, I, I just drove to Chicago and my stuff got ruined. What's gonna happen when I drive to? I'm very worried about this mock. I have to drive six, seven hours. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, was it Philly is nine or ten for me? Yeah. I think it might be nine. That's that's uh, a little bit longer than my. Uh, Brickville, Virginia drive every year because I, I drive down to Brick Fair and that's eight to nine hours. Nice. Yeah, it sounds like they're they're changing a lot of things with, with Chicago this year, so it should be interesting. Well, new ownership. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's right. That is new ownership, yeah. Hmm. Uh, what is it? Brick Somnix says it's almost 20 hours for him. Well, that is where you can have the great it's like the hobbit an adventure <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't even think it's that long for us to get to we went to disney one year i forget how long that took i don't think it took that long hey but you want to know you want to know how to get yourself quickly assimilated into the brick world culture nick what's that you, you need to talk to uh Talk to the to the owning body of Brickwell and be like, I would like to host a uh, whatever you want to call it, a paranormal session with <laughs> Brick Fair attendees. I'll take X number of people, sign up ahead of time, and then you take a take us somewhere in the area, like one of the nights or something. Dude, mm. you will be ingrained into the culture. There you you're, go. You're now yeah. a staple. Yeah, because there's a lot of stuff out there towards uh, towards Chicago there. That yeah. I know that that are very well haunted. So and and if you do stuff like that, I'm telling you, they love it when people step up and like volunteer for programming and stuff. That's when you get like you get perks, you get you get uh, prizing, you get Lego sets, you get all kinds of stuff you're helping out with. Oh, that. nice. Does Chicago do a yard sale like with the attendees? No, they don't. Mm-mm. Oh man, they don't do a yard. Maybe they'll start doing one, but they don't do it. Right, they haven't done it. We got to start that next year under the table. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Or or we could literally go to the parking lot and set up folding cha- folding tables. <laughs> well, it was funny because like uh, last year, because we were giving away a couple uh, police officers for people signing up and stuff like that. And this guy comes yeah. over and he's, he, he kind of like whispers to me. He goes, hey, hey, you, you need some more police officers? Drug <laughs> <Nice>. dealer? <laughs> I know, right? That's what I thought. I'm like, dude. Uh, the first the first police officer is free. <laughs> or some yeah, guy next yeah. to you going to come out in a trench coat with a bunch of police officers. Hey. All right. Hey, hit. Hey, I found this in the kids' stuff here. Have you guys ever built a chandelier that looks like this? What does this go to? No, I haven't. Uh, are those like the Ningago lightsaber hilt blades <laughs> with diamonds in it? I, I, no, 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 they're not. <laughs> okay. Hold on, let me get up there. Uh, uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, it looks like it should be a chandelier on something, right? It does. It looks like it. Very chandelier. No, it's got me worried that it went into one of these. It's not the palace somewhere, I don't think. Maybe it's from a Scooby Doo thing since there was already Scooby Doo stuff. Ah, uh, there you go. Maybe. I, I haven't. Yeah. So I won't tear that apart because I know that probably goes to something. Please don't fall apart. Please don't fall apart. There we go. Yeah, that's one of the things, you know, you know, I don't want to be that dad, you know, the, like the Lego movie dad. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm like, all right, guys, you guys can play with any of these city Ninjago, whatever sets that you guys, whatever. I'm like, but when it comes to like my modulars, I'm like, you guys can play with them, but put them back the way they were. <laughs> and then the one day I come in and all the different levels are like sprung across the, oh, yeah. you know, the, the living room and. And I just wanted to turn around, and walk out. Yeah, I'll admit I am full Lego Movie dad. <laughs> Who do you got there to to uh, chase off? Uh younger brother in seventh grade. Ah, there you go. That will do it. Yeah, it will. This thing keeps falling apart on me. Dang it. Rick Somniac said the detective office. We don't have that one, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks like a cool one. All right. I am in a good spot where I think I'm going to stop and I'm going to go upstairs. So I'm going to take my leave. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you hopping on. Uh, yeah. Keeping me uh, company. That was, like I said, that was perfect timing. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. But, oh, nice. Uh, like I said, hey, think about it because I think. I think that could be really, really cool next year for Brickwell if you did something like that. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, I would sign up. I would sign up. Oh, awesome. I already got one person to sign up. <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already in. I'm already in. All right, but yeah, uh, Kevin, uh, I'm serious about uh, run through some ideas and let me know pricing and stuff like that on uh, on logos or whatever. Awesome. All uh, right. I look forward to it. Awesome. All right. You two guys uh, have fun for the remainder. All right. Take it easy. Uh, yeah. Bye-bye. Later. All right. Yeah, so, so school's been keeping you busy, huh, man? Yeah. Yeah, I've been uh, kind of crazy uh, over this way with we were doing, like, trying to put out a video every freaking day. That that, that was a task. <laughs> yeah, that one Falcon video was the first time I. Oh, oh, you're breaking up. Oh, no. I'm more active on Instagram. Uh, we're losing you, man. Uh, we're losing you. Wait, what? I said we were losing you. Oh, that's not good. Uh, hold on. Uh, I'll be right back. All right. I'm back. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I have a heck of a mess here. 
I, I feel really bad now because I didn't know that Hoosier was coming on tonight. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's up, dude Jude in the chat? How's it going? Yeah, but what are your plans for Chicago 2019 for Mox wise? Uh, what I have is I'm putting together because we last year we took to get um a a mystery science theater thing. Yeah, it was it was just like them at their desk showing off stuff, and but now I'm I'm doing like the movie theater part, and we're doing like the outside of the Gizmonic Institute. Well, that's uh, uh, because this whole year the theme this year is like space. So we're kind of working our mocks around their theme this year. Yeah. This shouldn't be too hard for me. Yeah. I'm already there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. So I'm lo really looking forward to Chicago. Uh, they, they, yeah. they are changing ownership. So they are doing some different stuff, which could be good or bad. We never know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, so we'll, we'll wait and see on that one. Yeah, yeah, I got into an online one of the online loads two days ago. Got my application and accepted. All good. Oh, nice. What one is that? Uh, Clone Wars lug. Ah, awesome. So they got back to you pretty quick, then, huh? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we're still no. we still don't know what happened to Republic Attack. Like, if he's gonna be back. Ah. Yeah, he's one of the top ever since the incident. No one's really heard from him. He hasn't been <laughs> active. Uh, you heard about that whole thing? No, no, actually, I didn't. Thir was... He lost his. He got robbed. Thirteen thousand dollars of Lego stolen. Holy smokes! Yeah, it's been everywhere. I can link the video in the internal chat. It's crazy. Really? That is nuts. Yeah, that video got 3.1 million views. So Maybe. somebody stole that much Lego from him? Yeah. They didn't like, go after computers, didn't go after valuables, just the Lego. Are you kidding me? I'm absolutely serious. That, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be like that guy, but that sounds really suspicious to me. <laughs> oh, it's been proven. Oh, okay. So he wasn't like, oh, darn, my oh, Lego's gone. It wasn't a sob story. It wasn't like a, oh, give me free money. It, it yeah. was like raw motion from the video. Oh, okay, cool. Because I was like, mm. Oh, there trust me. Everyone was worried about that. <laughs> and that's my conspiracy theory. Mine just jumps to the first conclusion is, hmm, maybe he was trying to get something out of it. Yeah. Which I probably shouldn't think like that, but oh, it, I, every, <laughs> everyone has a right to be suspicious if it's like that much. Yeah, and that's all they took. Yeah, it was like pieces across the the yard and backyard. His di his biggest mock was destroyed. Linked right now. Oh wow. Yeah, like Mandar Productions uh, did a poll GoFundMe for him. Huh. Yeah, well, how long ago did this happen? Um when did the video come out? Hold on. I'm gonna look go to the back to that. And I'm like, I haven't been October fifth. Oh uh, yeah, see this month I kinda you know, when besides besides putting out my videos, I really haven't been into the whole community. Uh, community but M and R set up a GoFundMe or whatever and raised the money in three days. The guy yeah. got the money and he will be back. Nice. Our uh, Doc Sampson was talking in the chat about it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, thankfully he wasn't greedy. He stopped it right at what he lost. He didn't that's take cool. extra money. That's cool though that the community stepped up like that and uh, got his stuff back. But I'm pretty sure he probably had stuff that can't be replaced. Much. Yeah, that mod will never be replaced. It so. was his passion project, even so. But who just goes and steals just Lego? That's that's even worse than just stealing the computers and crap. Because then then you know that it had to have been somebody that Close watches, to watches his stuff, maybe? I don't know. 
you know, that was kind of one of the one things when we first started up our YouTube channel was like, okay, you know, creepers or, you know, you gotta be a little bit, you have to be careful. Yeah. I'm like, well, it's not like we're giving out our address or yeah, it's not know. like I'm giving like, here's my credit card guys. Here you go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and in order to do some of the videos we do, we, we are like, yeah, we are from Rockford, Illinois, you know, but yeah, like I say, like it, age and where I'm from, like just yeah. stay, that's it. Yeah. Uh, that mock was huge. It had to be someone that wanted to mess with them. No computers, and there was no cash in the house, too. Huh? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to go check that out. Yeah. yeah. Like, like I said, I, I feel like I'm way out of the loop. Like I'm well, it's all right. Sometimes you just have that <laughs> moment I did for the mo since I've been back in school. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is, I think this is my first live stream in like a month and a half or two months. Jeez. <laughs> All right, exactly. That's how far off I've been. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I, been, I just talked to, to Kevin. Uh, kind of want to do kind of like a rebranding type thing, but not rebranding. I don't yeah. know how to really explain it, but, you know, kind of at the beginning of the year, kind of... We're going to still do our stuff, but we're going to tweak it a little bit, I guess. Yeah. Uh, try to make it more. Um, I, I don't know how to explain it. I, I guess it'll all, all fold out here in a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end the stream here. All right. Um, uh, my, it, our viewership just dropped down to absolutely nothing. So. Oh, boy. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to go and. Uh, rest up here a little bit and yeah i should do that too the kids here will go and uh finish this when they get home so yeah. all right i want to thank uh my guest here tonight uh imperial bricks uh yes, make sure to subscribe to him if you haven't um i i like to think of him as one of our branches of the brickhead family <laughs> um it's and it. and uh kevin hinkle kevin a hinkle go ahead and do a subscription to him too uh very important that, that dude has some stories, man. I'm, I'll tell you what. If you haven't for a week, if you haven't been watching those those videos on Bricksmith's channel with him, you should because his backstory is crazy. It is. All right, man. Well, uh, we have a saying here at the Brickhead family, and it is Brick time is family time. So everyone have a good night, and uh, thank you, Imperial, for coming in. Good to see you. And good evening. All right, and.